it can be a very difficult conversation to have. Nobody really wants to sit down and say, well, tell me your dying wishes or, you know, tell me do you want to go into a nursing home? But I think along the way, there are a lot of, um, there are opportunities and naturally rising opportunities. I suppose a big no-no would be sit down there, have a pen and paper now, talk to me. When something arises naturally and you're talking to the some, somebody is maybe bring it back to yours. I know for my own part, um, I had done um, a little bit on a television programme and the boys had been with me and we were coming back from Dublin the next day and some question came up and we actually, um, we laughed, we cried and the guys got down as far as, Mum, what flowers would you like at your funeral? Um, it was still tough and still sad, but it was um, it was a huge relief to, for all of us to be able to talk about that. that that's what's happening. Um, you know, you have somebody maybe in a home who maybe will say something, throw away something to somebody who's making the tea, or to somebody who's changing the bed, because for that, for them, it's non-threatening. No disrespect to doctors or nurses; they tend to be standing above in their uniform or in there. That's not conducive to somebody talking. Um, asking somebody what they want may be asking them what they don't want, you know. And again, it's that time maybe something comes up on the news or something comes up and as simple as saying, well, how would you like it to be for you? What would you like to be? You know, if it's a parent, you know, uh, is that, gosh, so-and-so, I visited them in the nursing home. Is that something you would think of, you know? So it's picking the natural and hearing it. Um, I would have a concern that when it's said to the likes of somebody who's bringing in the lunch or the tea, they're not trained to catch it. And so it's an opportunity lost. I think that's an area that could be worked on.